Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 3rd of August 2011. We've had two more M flares and a coronal mass ejection, so this moderate level of solar activity is continuing. Over the last few weeks we've talked a lot about coronal mass ejections. <clears throat> so today's trivia question is, how long have we known about coronal mass ejections, or as they were known then coronal transients, and how were they discovered? The answer will be given at the end. From the GOES X-ray plot we see that we've had six C flares and two M flares in the last 24 hours. Interestingly, the two M flares are from different regions. Region 1261 produced one of them and 1263 produced the other. So these two regions are showing quite a bit of activity. So let's take a look at the regions and see what's been going on there. We've lost region 1265 over the northwest limb and region 1264 died away in the southern hemisphere. So we're left with just three numbered regions on the disk. Region 1260, which seems to be decaying somewhat. Region 1261 and 1263, which as I've said have been the main sources of activity. But we do have a new region coming over the northeast limb, which has not yet been numbered. So let's take a look at the developments of regions 1261 and 63 in the uh, white light and magnetic movie data. Region 1261 has continued its spectacular um, development over the last few days and is almost unrecognizable from day to day. However, it's very difficult to see any major changes in Region 1263, which is why I was so surprised when it produced an M-flare. Watch it carefully and see if you can see any major changes. In the transition region data, let's take a look at some prominences. There is one prominence off the northwest limb that looks very likely to lift off in the next few days. There's also a small filament between region 1263 and 1261, which is very vulnerable to lifting off as a result of activity in them. Once again, in the low temperature corona movie, let's compare the activity levels in regions 1261 and 1263. You can see that they're both very dynamic and bright. 1261 is obviously the brighter and more active, thus is more likely to consistently produce flares. In the high temperature coronal movie, let's take a look at the region off the northeast limb. It seems to be there's a part of it that has come onto the disk, which at the moment is just some plage and a couple of small spots. But behind there still seems to be a section of the uh, region to come. From the coronagraph data on SOHO, we can see that we had a halo CME yesterday associated with that long duration M flare. That basically means that that coronal mass ejection is heading straight at us. Now whether it will be geo-effective or not is another matter. The age data show us the state of the solar wind. We see that the temperature and the density of the solar wind has dropped significantly, as has the velocity. The high energy electron flux has remained very high. In the proton detector, we can see that we've had quite an extended proton event going on. However, it's a very soft spectrum, which means there's a lot more low energy protons than there are high energy protons. The auroral arc is looking unusually quiet, and the Kp index is varying between 0 and 1 which also is uh, extremely quiet. So in summary then, the X-ray background is at the B5 level, the sunspot number has fallen to 98, the radio sun intensity is at a respectable 122 solar flux units, the solar wind speed is at 390 km per second with, but with a very low density of much less than one proton per cubic centimeter, and geospace conditions, at least for now, are very quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours is there's a good chance of getting C flares and M flares, and with the possibility of getting X flares. The sunspot number should remain relatively high. There's a good chance of getting coronal mass ejections. The solar wind speed should remain low at least until this coronal mass ejection arrives, either sometime later tomorrow or early the following day. And the chance of getting a geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is relatively low. In the slightly longer term, you can see there's still a part of that active region in the northeast due to come over the limb. And so we'll see whether that has any major spots in it. If you want to find out more about what's going on in the sun, please follow the links in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today, go to my channel, they're listed there. The answer to the trivia question is that coronal mass ejections were discovered by the NRL instrument on the OZO-7 spacecraft over 40 years ago. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.